Hooray! We got the Sleeper of Avrak. At the end of each turn, if Sleeper of Avrak is in the graveyard, it gains 1-1. One, one. I guess it's if you can provide it somehow. That would make it useful. So we're going to do more of the campaign. And I guess I might just carry on with Flame Dawn campaign too. Before the skirmishes could devolve into an all-out war, a strange rift appeared. Massive beasts poured forth from it, causing disturbances in the lands held by the Dawn. They withdrew off Genesis land to investigate. Gigantic beasts have appeared and trampled our towns and civilians. Protect our new lands. Hunt down these invaders. Hmm. It doesn't really feel like they're gonna explain too much of the There is a story. <laughs> but you just have to kind of accept the, the stuff going on. He's 5-4, these are 4-2. But I could play him directly. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, he did nothing. Weird. Maybe they haven't got anything they could play. I got another one of those. What the, what's this? Move target character into combat zone to the support. Oh, in the combat zone, to the support zone, okay. So what's this card? As long as bring life bypassing is on the battlefield, you have one extra resource. Uh, can't force it down into the combat area, so... What's this? Okay, we'll do that. No. Ah! They've got the Mushroom Kingdom. I can just play two of the. Oh, actually, I can play this 4 4 guy. Aha! That guy. That's way more useful. Okay, so cleverly, she. The beasts played that, which makes sense. So we've lost a bit of morale, but. So, what we got? Five resources. And she's. They, I keep saying she. I'm not sure why. They've got an 8, eight, eight 18 here. So they've got a Titan. Another one of those. I'm getting kind of crappy cards. But I guess it's the first. the second tutorial level. They don't want to give you too much. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Put your only form of defense out in the attacking when I've got. How much damage are we going to do? 50. Other beasts, I guess. I guess tactics and knowledge of defense aren't ever going to be their forte. So what's the next mission? Flame Dawn needed the aid of Genesis technology to conquer the new world. Another truce was called, and the two nations banded together to create the united Talek front. Together, they pushed through the rifts and made claim to the land on the other side. So they were fighting over territory amongst themselves. Then they found rifts and said, Actually, if we work together, we can just go fucking take over these lands. And then they'll take over all these lands and then go back. Oh, now we've got to go fighting. Bro, bitch. Most of this land is populated with megafauna with little intelligence. There are some humanoid type hybrids, but they lack the ability to communicate with us. I declare this land void of inhabitants and claim it in the name of the Flame Dawn. So we're assholes, basically. But now I get some Genesis technology by the looks of it. At the end of each turn, he gets plus one. one. This card has charge. And so does this one. What's this guy? This character has two lives. Wow. Okay. What? Oh, so I click on. Fuck off. Play card. I'm gonna put that down there, so. Okay, that's not really what I wanted, but now I can do this. And they're instantly Princess Peach. Or Princess Toadstool, I guess I should say. So what's this Matrix looking guy? Oh, he's not. Uh. <laughs> it's a good thing that he was, like, flying before he even got the jetpack. 
So I can put this guy down and this guy. I've got a couple more beasts. Four. Hmm. If I put him at the front, he'll kill both of those. What's this? When you play support, your own target character gets plus three, plus three. Oh, oh, I could do that. And just give it to this guy. Now he can kill both of those. Oh. Shit. I didn't work how I expected it to. Oh well. So we take 16 damage. Return target character in the combat zone and all other characters with the same name to their own as support zone. I could do that. Why not, I guess. Although he's got initiative. I could do the same thing again. Let's bring these guys out. Um, shall I do it? They're kind of a pain in the ass. I kind of just need some characters down to kill them. This guy's 8-8, eight, eight, right? So... Yeah. Oh shit, he doesn't have charge, of course. Um, shit. I kind of fucked this up. Oh fuck, I didn't expect that. It makes sense though. Fucking hell. The game instantly let evened out with that one. I can't really afford to do that. Can I? I guess I've got no choice. So if I need to do 34 damage. So that would be 18, 20, 28. But I also need to stop them doing damage. This guy's got charge, right? Yeah. What's this? Flying. So if I put this down there, I can now defend 14. So that's what? 24, 36 damage. So I can survive that, provided that kills that. Okay. We'll go with it. Oh shit! I didn't count on them putting more in there! Oh well. That was my mistake. And of course, you have initiative. Shut up. <laughs> that was my own fault. I completely forgot that the computer would play cards. Take away my Medal of Honor now. Okay, so we'll play you. I feel like I'm getting my cards in the same order. I feel like the computer's playing its cards in the same order. Does it not? Okay, this is new. This is different. So I want that down. Oh shit. Oh, bye bye to all them. So I put you down there for defense. And then put. Do that, I guess. Am 
might as well put that there as well. Okay. So now what? Well, that'll create three guys down there. What's this guy do? He's the guy that does extra damage. To anybody in the support zone. So I'm thinking if I play this and put it on my bot, that might be the best bet. Oh, except he puts everybody into attack, huh? Did not expect that. Thirty damage to me. How much to you? Thirty-four. Okay. I'll bring you over here. I want to leave you. I can't bring the others across. So you and you. That'll take out this. I leave me with 20 damage to take. I've still got five points to play with. Are you charged? No. No point you being at the front, you get to the back. Uh oh. Shit! Oh, I've been misunderstanding how the defense works. So, all I've actually got to do is put four cards over here and it'll stop them being able to attack. Um, okay. So, what can I do? You go over here. Well, they've only got 10 health, so if that if we leave those there. Send my robot over. Okay, you take on him, you'll kill him. You take on that, you'll kill that. Okay, we should be up. Mm. Actually, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to put another one down. It's the most you should be able to do 24 damage now. Oh, that's why I've been misunderstanding. If they kill them, they st still fight. Ah. Oh well, it's done. I had to sacrifice a few people, but... We don't care. I mean, the robots and scrubs. The beasts of the new world were violent and terrifying to fight. But soon the dame... The flaw... Yeah, fucking hell. The flame dawn discovered an even greater threat in the new world. Robotic undead of an unknown origin. The sleepers. Man and beasts of fur and flesh I can handle, but what are these abominations? Dead men mixed with machine? Have Genesis turned traitorous? We should never have trusted them. I don't think this is Genesis, sir. They look so like something new. It doesn't matter who they are after we have knocked who they are after we've knocked them down. Rally men for the dawn! So we've already broke, <laughs> cancelled the truce with uh, with Genesis. This guy's got charge. Yes. Okay, we'll bring you down. Now we've got two of these, or I can play this guy, this affable chap. Huh? Why is the Genesis not? Uh, the sleeper's not doing anything. Seems a bit strange. What are they trying to pull here? They got some secret device. Hey, I'm trying to see what this card is. I'm trying to see what this card is. Fucking. If Rise of Aver if Risen of Avarak is in the graveyard for three consecutive turns, it returns to play. Wow. Okay. When Saculus comes into play, each opponent's fortress is takes damage equal to the number of characters you currently control. So it'd be five if I play it now? That seems okay. I'll go with that. And you hide behind him. So 
So four damage now. Okay, did it not take the damage? I don't get it. I didn't see it happen, but maybe it just didn't register. Okay, these have charge, so let's play those. And these guys, I guess. Um, <laughs> sorry, sleepers, that was kind of the cakewalk. Why was that a later level? It didn't seem to do anything. Stuck between the two invading forces, the native inhabitants of the new world were being destroyed. In a horrible perversion of the natural order, the beasts rose to fight for the undead. A mysterious woman, an immortal and sole inhabitant of the untamed world, approached the Flame Dawn. Doesn't that mean she's, like... I thought we said that we claimed there were no inhabitants here. So doesn't she lay claim to this claim, lay claim to this world? A letter the immortal caretaker. Those who once walked this land are being destroyed. The undead monsters push onwards, and my world is and yours is at stake. Help us stand against the enemy and leave the rest of the creatures on this world alone. So she wants to join up with us now, in addition to the uh, Genesis, and take out the undead. We will help. We will help you stop this threat to the world, but we will not promise submission when this is over. This world is rich in minerals and precious commodities that do not exist in our world. We will not trade for that which we can take. For the dawn! Why do you keep saying that? Why do you hold such rever reverence for your glorified murders and thieves? Even against these beasts, you commit further atrocities. Because I am a soldier, Kali. You have it wrong. A soldier's ultimate goal isn't to kill. What is it, then? What? What is it? Huh. I guess we'll never find out. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I can shuffle my cards. Um, we got a key. Uh, okay, we'll just end turn, I guess. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, there's still nothing I can do. Fucking game. Okay, so I can send them back. Oh no, I can't. Not yet. How good are these? Oh, they're not too bad. What's this? This card has Immolate. When a character with Immolate deal damage to another character, their target com becomes Immolated and will take damage at the start of each turn. Whoa, lady! I don't think that's battle appropriate to tie. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to bring her out. Fuck, undo. Wait, that's Carly? Oh, sorry, lady. Misunderstood. <laughs> I didn't intend to give you such a low voice. Oops. Um, there's no point sacrificing you, you'll just die. So. Kill that off. Oh no, neither of them will die. I misunderstood. Might as well bring you down. Oh, you've got something else now. What have you got? What do you got? I want to see what you've got. Endless Horde. Hmm. Get stronger for every one of them you kill. I wonder if you could make a deck that's just full of them. 10 10. Okay, that seems pretty good. Alita. Oh, this is the last we were just talking to. If she's in graveyard for six consecutive turns, she returns to play. Non artificial character gets four defense. This guy makes everybody else stronger. Okay, if I put her in, she's gonna die. So I'll put you in first. Yeah, then you, and you, and you, and you. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Um, okay. Let's put you over here, you over here. Um, put all these guys down. 
bring him in. Um, play her. Can I do anything with these last two? No. Okay. That's one death. Two deaths. 38 damage. And yeah, we lose him, but... Any scrawny asshole I can send over to sort that out. Seven resources, so I can play him and him. What's this? Return target character in the bad zone to the support zone. That's not so bad. Um, you got eight. If I take you. Yeah, everybody loses that. Okay, so we'll send you across. Sorry, buddy, but you kind of suck. Oh, shit. Well, take, do your best, buddy. Your best was shit. Oh, man, he gets stronger for everyone that dies. Fuck, if you combine that with, um... That endless horde. Not this one. This one. Two lives, that's his gimmick. Okay, so you go there. You go there. Might as well bring you down. That's that. Thanks for the game, sleepers. Sorry, it's kind of one-sided. I mean, you did have the advantage for three turns. So, don't expect me to feel too bad for you. And we send the furry off to his death. That wasn't my intention, but it is kind of what happened. We sacrificed them so the Flame Dawn could go ahead. How many of those have I done now? I feel like I've just been churning through them. Really? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I've only done three? Wow, there's not much more to go. I kind of feel like doing the rest and the r just carry on recording, but I need to get going, unfortunately. Uh, wow, we're kind of taking over the entire world. I guess with the BWO. We're taking over. Three levels left. Join me next time, and I guess we'll finish off the Flame Dawn campaign. Um, and I guess what would make sense to go on to next? The Genesis? Oh, Genesis Industries? It's just a corporation. I thought there was some kind of um, Geth equivalent for Mass Effect. You know, like Sky... Skynet? Net Sky... Skynet, that's right. Ah, either way. Join me next time, and thank you for watching.